nigga would have been six feet under. Actually, he would have been eight because I would have knocked his ass another two feet. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Makeup Diaries with Mariah. I'm Mariah, of course, and we're back in the closet. And you want to know why? Because I want to do my makeup today and I want to talk shit, okay? So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, you know, all the good stuff. If you're not new here, like, welcome back. So, um, what is today? Today is the 22nd, and Black History Month is like basically about to be over and I think I think I speak for everybody when I say this has probably been one of the worst black history um honestly I've had a good time though but I can I can totally understand why everybody else is like this has been one of the worst black history months ever because it's been shit after shit after shit after shit happening we did start with some really good news that our good sis Rihanna why am I doing my makeup without my fucking mirror? What am I, it's like, what am I looking at? I was looking at the big mirror and I wasn't even thinking. That's how long it's been since I've done my makeup in here. Um, our good sis Rihanna is having a baby with ASAP Rocky, y'all. That means she's having sex with that man. Sex with ASAP Rocky. But I'm so happy for her. I don't know why. I hate, like, the idea of, like, parasocial relationships with celebrities and shit like that. Like, I don't believe in none of that. But Rihanna, like, that's my sister. Y'all don't get it. That's my girl. We've been in the trenches, okay? I remember the first time I heard Pondy replay on the goddamn radio. And, baby, I played that shit over and over. That's my sister. We like this. We see each other, okay? And I'm real happy for her. You know, because I feel like... In every interview, everything, she's been talking about how, like, she wants a family so bad, you know? And, like, I feel like for years, we've all been reading about Rihanna talking about, like, I'm ready to have a baby right now. I'm ready to have a baby right now. And look at her, like, starting all these businesses, becoming, like, a billionaire, and then getting to, like, have a family on her own terms with a nigga who was not gonna stand in her way, because... I mean, when's the last time you was invested in something ASAP Rocky was doing? So that nigga finna be a stay-at-home dad on some real shit, okay? Like, and 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 that's what she deserves. So real, like, I'm I'm so happy for her. She just deserves it so much. She deserves so much happiness and love. And you know what? I just love that for Rihanna. I really do. And I think she's having a girl. And it is because the maternity photo she was wearing that really long, like pink Chanel um jacket had her in new york city on 125th taking maternity photos that's how you know sis is in love because what nigga are you for real like no that's how you know she really loved that nigga because baby not rihanna back in the day never would have done that but you know what good for her and good for them because they seem really happy together and i don't know why but i just feel like they're such a good fit with each other like I just think they complement each other really well and by that I mean he just doesn't get in the way of her being Rihanna and he's just him I don't really give a fuck about ASAP Rocky I've never really cared for his music he isn't even my favorite ASAP at this point like he's not even making the best music but you know good for him like your first baby is by Rihanna huh like that talk about a home fucking run okay um so what else happened oh my god the super bowl like typically i would not give a fuck about it but this super bowl i was like so emotional because like if you know me you know i'm like the biggest kendrick lamar stan like of all time you know and lately he's been like faking us out like i feel like every time i see kendrick lamar trending on twitter i'm like oh my god a new album oh my god a new single oh my god a new picture oh my god he's like done something and it's never any of that it's never any of that so like to to go like to see him perform like at the super bowl like that's a really big moment for hip-hop and i like love hip-hop so much i love hip-hop more than i love you know anything and like it's crazy because it's like this is like the last and I've said this before and I told my friends this who like had to listen to me rant at the party because I'm like people don't realize how big of a deal this is like this is the fucking Super Bowl a stadium this is the the thing and it's like hip-hop 
Mary J. Blige up there looking like phenomenal. I almost cried after I saw her because like, talk about a person who deserves it. After her shitty ass husband and her shitty ass divorce, like how she's been coming out talking about all this shit that he did to her, how he had, she had to fire her sister to make this nigga her manager so he wouldn't be embarrassed in front of all her Hollywood friends. And then he spent all her money and she was $11 million in debt when they got a divorce and she still has to pay him alimony? Now that nigga would have been six feet under. Actually, he would have been eight because I would have knocked his ass another two feet. Okay? Like, what? Are you kidding me? If men have nothing else, they have the audacity. And they have proven that. Like, over, like, they just won't stop having the audacity. And I feel like the last time, like, I, before, I feel like I haven't done a Hot Topics video in so, so long. But that whole shit with that other podcast, that alpha male podcast, the Fresh and Fit podcast, where they're always having black women on and then harassing them, is another example of, like, niggas just need space and opportunity and they will take every chance they get to bash black women it's crazy because anywhere you go like people hate black women like you can come out and just say like you know just being like oh my god i love black women and somebody's gonna come around and say well what about other women well i hate those bitches they're stuck up this and that like that's the only group we are the only group of people that you can't openly praise you know without somebody hating on you and without somebody wanting to tear you down you know what i mean so it's crazy like to see like how she's come back from that and it's crazy because like this is shit you never would have known like who would have known that Mary J Blige like had a well I mean we knew that he was like spending her money on you know his side bitches and getting other bitches pregnant and then she's having to put like pay his child support because this nigga ain't got no job and it's crazy how niggas really do you you know like she took that nigga from nothing to something okay and she's Mary J. Blige, but she's still out here looking good, releasing good music and everything. And I thought that was just like a really, really big moment for her. Well deserved. I think she could have done it by herself. Like, I think she could have done it by herself. I think Kendrick's performance should have been longer. I think the only performance that was too long was Eminem's. And that's no shade because, you know, back in the day, we used to love Eminem. But now, I don't know what he'd be talking about. He's just weird. And he only has one outfit. Have we talked about this? I feel like he's been wearing that same outfit every time we see him in public for maybe the last five or six years. And you know the outfit I'm talking about. It's really pitiful. Um, what else happened? Da 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 da. Let me go to my list. <sighs> Kanye West. I just like when a nigga is so wrong that you have me on the side of a Kardashian, that's when you know you fucked up, okay? I mean, we all know Kanye West has like three marbles left and they're just rolling around in that motherfucker and each of them gets a turn to, you know, be right. You know how they say a broken clock is right twice a day? Well, Kanye West ain't been right in years, okay? So I don't know what's wrong with his shit. But now he's harassing Kim and Pete Davidson on Instagram. And why did I feel like this was the kind of thing that would happen if Kanye West, I had to check, if Kanye West and Kim Kardashian like got a divorce? I said that nigga is either going to kill himself or he's going to make her life a living hell, you know? And he's been real shady. And then he's like harassing her. Like this is like abuse. He's being abusive to her on. And it's it's like it was funny. It's like it was funny at first. But now it's just really getting so embarrassing. And it's like, why the fuck can't rich people just do shit behind doors? Like, what's wrong with celebrities that they got to take everything out in front of us? Like, why do you have to work out all your issues in public where we can see, like, this is your business. We don't want to be in your living room. Y'all ain't got no fucking furniture in that bitch. And it's really sad. And then he's talking about how, like, he's only releasing his, like, album on his, like, stem player and it was supposed to come out today and he has people it was supposed to come out today on february 22nd the album was supposed to come out and of course it didn't come out because it's kanye west and it was never gonna come out when he said it was gonna come out but now he has people like legit <laughs> like pissed at him because he didn't do something when he said he was gonna do it and it's like has this nigga ever released an album the time when he said he was gonna release an album and he got people spending 230 dollars to buy a fucking mp3 player an mp3 player child what has the world come to it wasn't gonna be me he said it's not gonna be on streaming services well i guess i don't need to hear it 
Okay? I do not need to hear that shit, okay? And you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm really, really fine with that shit. Like, if it's if that's how it's gonna be, I don't need to hear it. And what else happened? Oh my god, so Nicki Minaj has returned to music. And if you ask me, and I talk about this, and I talk about this on my other po- on my podcast where my girls at. Make sure you subscribe to that. Listen to that on on your um, pretty much any streaming service that you get podcasts on. We have it on. Um, listen to that. But we talk about that a little bit about how like it was very lackluster. Like I didn't like. Do we have a problem? I sort of like bust him. But it's just like I know she's capable of so much more. And so I'm thinking, is something bigger coming? Like, does she have a bigger release? Like, you know, she's back because I guess somebody done dropped the charges against her. Not her husband. He still got charges pressed against him. And she's still on Twitter. Just bird brain ass, being a bird brain ass bitch on Twitter, you know, railing against the vaccine. Like, people are really out here being stupid about a fucking vaccine. You met, like, okay, so stay your ass in the house. Don't go nowhere. Don't say shit to nobody. Don't ever leave. Okay, if that's how you feel about it, get vaccinated. That's so people are being so dumb about it. And she's like saying that the the Department of Health in Philadelphia is using her for clout because they quoted her a tweet that she made about how like her cousin like was sterile or some shit, which was a completely lie because of the, because of the vaccine. And she had said something recently like it's so funny to see people talk about shit they don't know. And it's like, babe, you are the prime example of doing that. And it's like, it's so hard these days to be a Nicki Minaj fan because on the one hand, there's the nostalgia aspect of it. Like you just love the music and you connect with the music and you want to like support the music and the looks. But then she opens her mouth. And it's like, I can't really, I I just can't justify it. So I can just be a fan and quiet. Like I'm gonna be quiet about this shit. I don't have the time to tolerate her. I am grown. I'm not you know team cardi or team nikki like i don't do that type of shit because them people don't pay my bills i enjoy the music if it's good and i just did not like do we have a problem it was just it wasn't that it was a bad song it was just that it was like uh, like is that it is that all you got you know what i mean my brush just broke my brush just broke in the middle that's so funny I need to get new brushes. Every time I go shopping, I be forgetting to get new brushes. Um, Another thing that happened that has made this like kind of a really... People's sex tapes have been getting leaked all like for some reason. People are just leaking celebrity sex tapes again. And Isaiah Rashad's got leaked apparently. And apparently he's uh queer, maybe? we. I mean, we don't have confirmation. Um, But in the video, like he was, you know, engaging in like gay sex with another um man which is like cool you know it's fine for him but it was crazy like how somebody would just leak that shit and everybody was thought that somebody was gonna be like oh fuck that nigga fuck that nigga but everybody was on his side and you know I actually had like I had thoughts about that and about people being on his side and it's because one Isaiah Rashad is phenomenal like he's incredibly talented if you've ever seen him live he's an incredible live performer but listen all them tde niggas is crazy they go crazy live like okay i don't know what kind of boot camp they putting them niggas through over there but they don't play they put on a show but then another thing that i was thinking about about the whole isaiah rashad thing and about how like everybody was so supportive i just don't think it's a big deal i really do think like because of the success of people like tyler the creator you know and like the real gender fluidity and like the real that that, that's going on in hip-hop right now that niggas don't care you know there's lil nas x who's like proud and loud and proud about that shit there's tyler the creator who's like a genius and still getting grammys and selling out like tours and shit there's um you know people like kid cuddy who isn't gay but is very like fluid with the way he dresses wears makeup wears dresses wears like like all that shit and so to me it just thinks like this is like the perfect time for him to like if he wanted to come out, this would be the time to do it. And people wouldn't care. Like, he can still rap about the same shit. And nobody's saying that he's even completely gay. Like, I don't think he's made any statement about it. But nobody's saying Isaiah Rashad is completely gay. He might be bi. And you know what? That's okay. We all like to take dick sometimes. I know I do. Um, 
but I think this is the perfect time for someone in this like climate musical climate that we're in to come out as being queer or gay or whatever because I think it's so accepting of a time in music where people are like we don't give a fuck like that shit still bumps and we still fucking with Isaiah Rashad um and whoever is leaking sex tapes again like get a job I I never thought that shit was cool Maybe as a kid, I was like, oh my God, but now that I'm a grown woman, like, that's just such a violation to, like, leak somebody, like, that's so vile to leak somebody's sex tape and now, without their permission, everybody knows what they look like. I just hate people who do that kind of shit, and people love to do that to people and put them in a vulnerable position, thinking they can take advantage of them, thinking you have all this power over them, and look at how people have responded to him. Like, nobody hates him nobody's like or at least openly nobody's like fuck that nigga you know I'm sure we don't know what goes on behind closed doors but nobody's done exactly what I'm sure the response that they wanted because they couldn't extort him probably and it sucks for you but you're a fucking loser whoever did that shit because that's just some pussy ass shit like why would you do that okay I think that's it and I think I'm pretty much done I'm gonna put on some gloss I'm literally not going anywhere I just really miss like doing my makeup for fun um I'm gonna put on some gloss because I fucking feel like it but that's it let me know what you guys think in the comments like about these topics or anything were there any that I miss and should I do more of these because I feel like I haven't been doing these enough um mostly because I feel like I've been like sort of depressed and sort of in a funk because of the weather but now that the weather is turning I'm starting to feel like very creative again so I kind of want to you know branch out on the content and get uh, a little crazy and start doing more commentary and shit like that you know what I mean um so if I should be doing that like let me know you know I love this No, Rihanna snapped when she made this pretty please. I fuck with this so hard. I'm gonna put on setting spray and then I'm gonna go get some tacos because it's Tuesday. Um, so thank you so much if you made it all the way to this video, to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you subscribe, like this, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!